Morrison's is the fourth largest chain of supermarkets in the United Kingdom, headquartered in Bradford, West Yorkshire, England. The company's legal name is W.M. Morrison's Supermarkets plc. Morrison's market share as of May 2014 was 11.0%, making it the smallest of the big four supermarkets, behind Tesco, Sainsbury's and Asda, but ahead of the fifth place the Cooperative Food. Founded in 1899 by William Morrison, hence the abbreviation W.M. Morrison, it began as an egg and butter stall in Rawson Market, Bradford, England. Until 2004, Morrison's store locations were primarily focused in the north of England, but with the takeover of Safeway in that year, the company's presence increased significantly in the south of England and Scotland. As of May 2014 the company now has 515 superstores and 113 Morrison's M local stores spread across England, Wales and Scotland. The Morrison family currently owns around 10% of the company. The company is listed on the London Stock Exchange and is part of the FTSE 100 Index of Companies. History Founding the company was founded by William Morrison in 1899 who started the business as an egg and butter merchant in Rawson Market, Bradford, England, operating under the name of W. M. Morrison Limited. His son Ken Morrison took over the company in 1952, age 21. In 1958 it opened a small shop in the city centre. It was the first self-service store in Bradford and the first store to have prices on its products, and it had three checkouts. The company opened its first supermarket, Victoria, in the Girlington district of Bradford in 1961. Publicly traded company, in 1967 it became a public limited company listed on the London Stock Exchange. Acquisition of Safeway In 2004 Morrisons, which operated mainly in the north of England, acquired Safeway, a British supermarket chain which owned 479 stores mainly in Scotland and the south of England. The acquisition quickly ran into difficulties caused in part by the outgoing management of Safeway changing their accounting systems just six weeks before the transaction was completed. The result was a series of profit warnings being issued by Morrison's, poor financial results and a reversion to manual systems. The program of store conversions from Safeway to Morrison's was the largest of its kind in British retail history focusing initially on the retained stores which were freehold, over 25,000 SQAFT with separate car parks. Within a few weeks, Safeway carrier bags were replaced by those of Morrison's and Morrison's own brand products began to appear in Safeway stores. Originally 52 shops were to be compulsorily divested after the takeover, but this was reduced to 50 after one Safeway store in Sunderland was destroyed by fire and the lease ended on another in Leeds city centre. John Lewis Partnership purchased 19 to be part of its Waitrose chain, while J. Sainsbury plc purchased a further 14, and Tesco bought 10 in October 2004. At the time Morrisons chose not to move into the convenience store sector. Further to this policy decision, it was announced in late 2004 that the 114 smaller Safeway compact stores would be sold off to rival supermarket chain Summerfield in a two-part deal worth a £260.2 a million in total. In Northern Ireland Morrisons sold the Safeway stores to Asda. This included a store in Bangor that opened after the Morrisons takeover. One of the largest single purchases in 2005 was that of five stores by Waitrose. On July 18, 2006, a further six stores from the rump format were sold to Waitrose, including the former Safeway store in Hexham, Northumberland, which became the most northerly Waitrose branch in England. In May 2005, Morrison's announced the termination of Safeway's joint venture convenience store petrol station format with BP. Under the deal, the premises had been split 50-50 between the two companies. Five sites were subsequently sold on to BP, while Morrison's sold the rest of its sites to Summerfield and Tesco, which both maintain a presence in this market sector. Summerfield stores later rebranded to the cooperative Food Fascia. Morrison's also sold Safeway's Channel Island stores, in Guernsey and Jersey, to CI traders where they continued to trade under the Safeway brand name, despite selling products from chains such as Iceland. In 2011, 
Sandpiper CICI traders sold the Channel Islands Safeway stores to Waitrose and the Safeway brand disappeared from the Channel Islands. On the Isle of Man, the Douglas store was sold to Shipwright and the Ramsey store was sold to the Cooperative Food. The Gibraltar store was originally marketed for sale, but has now been converted under the rump format. In November 2006, plans were submitted for the extension and redevelopment of the store in order to introduce the full Morrison's format. In September 2005 the company announced the closure of former Safeway depots in Kent, Bristol and Warrington with the loss of 2,500 jobs. The Kent depot has since been sold to upmarket rival Waitrose, whilst Warrington was sold to frozen food rival Iceland. Part of the Bristol depot has been sold off to GIST. The store conversion process was completed on November 24, 2005 when the Safeway fascia disappeared from the UK. Retirement of Sir Ken Morrison On March 13, 2008 Sir Ken Morrison retired as chairman after 55 years at the company and was made honorary president. Purchase of former co-op and Summerfield stores when the cooperative group completed its takeover of the Summerfield supermarket chain in March 2009, it was required to sell a number of stores by the Competition Commission. Morrison's purchased 35 stores from the combined group, mostly trading under the Summerfield fascia. These new stores were the first of more than 100 identified by Morrison's for expansion into smaller supermarkets as it aims to have a store within 15 minutes of every UK home. Multi-channel diversification. In January 2010, Morrison's appointed Dalton Phillips as its new chief executive. He has led Morrison's into its introduction of online shopping and convenience stores, as well as updating its original estate into a more contemporary theme through the refurbishment of stores as fresh format. In 2010, Morrison's signed a deal with budget retailer Peacocks. The first concession store opened as part of a refurbishment at the retailer's store in Idle, Bradford. The Peacock's section was rolled out into other stores before launching its own children's swear brand Nutmeg into 85 stores on March 21, 2013. Speculation is that Morrison's is investigating a launch into adult clothing during 2014. Throughout December 2012 the supermarket chain saw a 2.5% decline in sales. This led the supermarket chain to label their financial performance for the Christmas period 2012 as being a disappointing one, although the supermarket still claimed that they were on track to meet their targets. Morrison's Christmas 2013 like-for-like -like sales declined by 5.6%. The company blamed its lack of an online shopping operation, despite both Aldi and Lidl doing well, both of which do not have online shopping operations. As of February 2014, after four years, this strategy has had mixed success. Loyalty The Morrisons match and more card price matches their customer a Euro unregistered trademark s comparable grocery shop with Aldi and Lidl a Euro and also Tesco, Sain Spoy a Euro unregistered trademark s and Asda. If Morrison's customers spend a £15 or more and could a Euro unregistered trademark they paid less for their comparable groceries, Morrison's automatically give them the difference in points on their card at the checkout. Both in store and online. 1p difference equals 10 match points. A £1 difference equals 1,000 match points. Morrison's price match across the store a euro on brands and all comparable own label products and fresh food, even those that are on promotion elsewhere. They do all the calculating for their customers when they get to the checkout and add the points to their card automatically a euro their customers don't need a euro unregistered trademark t need to do anything. Morrison's customers will also get more points on one hundreds of products in store and online. And customers can collect points every time they fill up with fuel at a Morrison's petrol station a euro every litre of fuel equals 10 more points. And points turn into pounds. Once customers have collected 5,000 match and more points, Morrison's gives them a £5 voucher to spend or save. Potential private equity takeover bid In February 2014, it emerged that younger members of the founding Morrison family, who own 10% of the company and who are thought to include two of Honorary President Sir Ken Morrison's children, William Morrison Jr. and Andrea Shelley, along with Sir Ken Morrison's niece and her husband, Susan and Nigel Pritchard, 
had approached a number of private equity firms about taking the company private. They were said to be extremely unhappy about the company's disastrous financial performance, and the corporate strategy being undertaken by Dalton Phillips. Morrison's restructuring plans, in June 2014, Morrison's announced that there are plans put in place to cut 2,600 jobs as a result of changes to its management structure. Morrison stated that it had trialed the new structure and believed that better performance was achieved via these methods. However, these cuts would primarily affect department manager and supervisory positions. Morrison's would create 1,000 jobs in Morrison's M local convenience stores and 3,000 in new supermarkets. Following this, Morrison's sold its distribution center in Kent to a real estate investment company for a £97.8 a million. In turn, the depot in Kemsley will be immediately leased back to the supermarket chain on a 25 year agreement with AA £5.4 a million rental fee per annum. Senior Management In 2008, Sir Ken Morrison retired from the company. He now holds the position of honorary president. Dalton Phillips is the current CEO, replacing Mark Bolland who left to become CEO of Marks & Spencer. The former CFO of Morrison's was Richard Pennylook, who had joined Morrison's in October 2005. He later became interim CEO of the Cooperative Bank, and was replaced at Morrison's in June 2013 by Trevor Strain, previously Finance Director Corporate. Financial Performance The financial results have been as follows. Current operations. Morrison's currently has 569 superstores in the United Kingdom, including those it retained following its purchase of Safeway plc. Until 2004, Morrison's superstores were largely concentrated in the English Midlands and the north of England, but had expanded southwards, beginning with a store at Erith, Greater London, which opened in 1998. Most Morrison's stores operate from large superstores with a core focus on groceries and homewares, with fewer electronics items, clothing and furnishings than the company's main supermarket rivals. Whilst all Morrison's stores trade as Morrison's, the company has not completely integrated former Safeway stores into its original estate. The stores operated by Morrison's prior to the Safeway acquisition and new build stores are operated by William Morris and Supermarkets plc itself. However, bizarrely, all the former Safeway stores have been retained under the operation of the company Safeway Stores Limited. This means that whilst Morrison's appears to be one company as a customer-facing brand, the company is actually run as two separate supermarket chains. Morrison's is vertically integrated, and owns its own farm, pie factory, bakery and abattoirs. Morrison's also owns a substantial property portfolio, as over 90% of his stores are freehold. Morrison's supermarkets are currently split into six areas of the UK. Scotland, North, Midlands, South East with one of these in Gibraltar, South Central and the South West. Morrison's did not offer a loyalty scheme a euro except in its petrol stations, which is called the Morrison's Miles Card. However, in October 2014 they unveiled their new match and more scheme issuing points to customers based on in-store deals, and price comparison against Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, Aldi, and Lidl. Market Share As of February 2012 Morrison's has a 12.2% market share down 0.1% from the year before, still the smallest of the big four supermarkets. According to CACI, as of 2006, Morrison's has market dominance in 10 post-code areas. SY, LD, WS, TS, TD, BD, HG, LS, WF and HD. Store formats, Morrison's operates two stores formats, superstores and convenience stores. Superstores. The traditional format of Morrison's superstores is called Market Street. The meat is near or next to the butcher's counter, the delicatessen being traditionally named provisions with cheese fridge nearby and a rotisserie counter named oven fresh. There's a pie shop in every store and a bell rings when a fresh batch comes out of the oven. The overall theme is based on an early 20th century street setting in the north of England running around the edge of the store, with more conventional aisles in the centre. 
Most Morrison superstores are typically between 28,500 square feet and 36,000 square feet, with an increasing number above 36,000 square feet, offering food, homewares, some essential clothing, Cafar copyrights and petrol stations. They are freehold single-story brick buildings and have separate surface ground car parking. Under the current chief executive, Dalton Phillips, Morrison's has introduced a more contemporary store format, called the Fresh Format. This format has seen the stores been taken up market, in a move which has been attacked by Honorary President Sir Ken Morrison and city analysts. The format has had mixed success, and an updated Fresh Format store was introduced in Croydon in 2013, which reverted to the traditional shop funds theme. A number of Safeway stores retained by Morrison's were between 15,000 square feet and 25,000 square feet. Morrison's hopes to replace or expand these stores to make room for the full market street format in the future. In addition, a number of former Safeway stores were originally marketed for sale, but were eventually unable to be divested. These stores are leasehold and under 25,000 square feet in size. They have all since been converted to the Morrison's brand. The Bracknell branch is part of the Peel Centre Retail Park, the Shepherd's Bush branch is part of the West 12 Shopping Centre, the Streatham branch has underground car parking and the Tunbridge Wells branch has a multi-storey car park above it. All stores trade simply as Morrison's. Convenience Stores The company operate a number of smaller stores called Morrison's M local and major places such as Birmingham, Manchester Cardiff and Bristol. These stores have a similar format to small Tesco Express, Sainsbury's local and spa stores, but include a wider range of ready-to-eat hot foods such as pastries, coffee, rotisserie, porridge and also a salad bar. Items are stocked from nearby superstores and shoppers can also order foods in including fresh meat and fish. A distribution centre in Feltham, West London was acquired to provide a distribution network to the stores in London and the South East where there are few superstores. Around 70 stores will be opened by the end of 2013, which was boosted by the purchase of seven Jessops and 49 blockbuster stores from administrators. On February 26, 2013, a further six HMV stores were acquired from administrators. Other operations, in addition to traditional retail supermarket stores, Morrison's has a number of other operations, Kiddicare. In 2011, Morrison's bought children's retailer Kiddicare for a £70 million to give it the knowledge to sell clothing and homewares online. In 2012 ten former Best Buy stores from the car phone warehouse were acquired to expand Kiddicare into retail stores. In March 2014 Morrison CEO Dalton Phillips announced the company's intention of selling Kiddicare. Morrison's seller in 2012, the group launched its first retail website called Morrison's Seller Selling Wine from Around the World. Nutmeg Clothing, a clothing brand that launched on March 21, 2013. Morrison's Online, unlike its major competitors, Morrison's has only recently branched towards offering an online shopping service. It has purchased a 10% stake in New York-based online grocer Fresh Direct. After having sent a team to New York to learn from the business ahead of the predicted launch in 2013, Morrison's now has a fleet of home delivery vehicles and began a home delivery initiative in January 2014. In March 2014 Morrison CEO Dalton Phillips has announced they have sold their 10% stake in Fresh Direct due to financial difficulties the company is facing and that they have set up their own online site so they no longer need Fresh Direct. Marketing and Branding on March 15, 2007, Morrison's announced that it would ditch its existing branding and strapline in favor of a more modern brand image. Their lower price option brand, Better Buy, was also changed to a more modern brand called the Morrison's Value Range. This brand was then changed once again in 2012 as Morrison's launched their low price option brand called M Savers. The change saw the replacement of the old yellow and black logo along with the more reasons to shop at Morrison's strapline, replaced with Fresh Choice for You. In 2010 this was replaced by Eat Fresh. Pay Less. This was later changed again in 2013 to More of What Matters. It also involved the replacement of external signage, 
with the previous Morrison's signs being retained alongside the new logo, as well as changes to product packaging, point of sale, advertising, staff uniforms and distribution vehicles. The rationale behind the decision was the need for Morrison's to attract a wider national customer base, capitalizing on its expanded geographical spread following the acquisition of Safeway. Product ranges, Morrison's stocks thousands of lines which are sold as their own brand goods. These include, M Savers, an economy brand which sells items ranging from food and drink to toiletries, currently the UK's fastest growing grocery brand. This replaced value which in turn was a replacement for Better Buy. M Kitchen, the fresh foods range comprising sauces, soups, ready meals and desserts to cater for many different types of customer. The M Kitchen range was created by Morrison's team of in-house chefs as well as some well-known chefs such as Aldo Zilli. Include sub-brands Fresh Ideas, Bistro the counterpart to M Signature elsewhere in the store, Takeaway, Vegetarian and Sharing. M, the retailer's main range of own brand products which were previously labeled as Morrison's. M New Me, a healthy eating range which consists of 350 new chilled, frozen and ambient products. This replaced Eat Smart which in turn was a replacement for Better For You. M Signature, a high-end, premium range often including more exotic products. This replaced the Bistro range that was introduced to replace M Signature a few years ago. Both replaced the best range. Morrison's Free From, a range that contains products which cater for people with allergies to ingredients such as gluten, wheat or dairy or who do not eat products containing these ingredients. The Free From range has not yet been rebranded as part of the product with brand announced by Morrison's in 2012. Morrison's JFK, a range targeted at children, which products have a low sugar and fat content. Rebranded in autumn 2013 to JFK. Replaced Morrison's Kids Smart, Morrison's Hill Foods, a range of products including nuts, dried fruits and seeds. The Hill Foods range has not yet been rebranded as part of the product with brand announced by Morrison's in 2012. Nutmeg, a children's clothing brand that launched across 100 stores on March 21, 2013. Recently expanded to also include a limited range of women's wear and men's wear. Distribution In 2005 Morrison's purchased part of the collapsed Rathbones Bakery's operation, which makes Rathbones and Morrison's bread, for a £15.5 a million. In 2007, Morrison's opened a new distribution centre in Swindon and announced that it had bought a new site on Junction 23 of the M5 in Bridgewater in Somerset for redevelopment as a fresh produce packing facility. In 2011 Morrison's opened a new 767,500 sq foot distribution centre in Bridgewater as part of the A11 pounds a million redevelopment project. This project also created 1,200 new jobs. Criticism, alcohol sales controversy, since 2007, Morrison's has received some negative publicity over alcohol sales and the implementation of its policy that anyone who appears to be 25 or under and is purchasing alcohol must prove that they are above the legal drinking age. First, the BBC reported in September 2007 that a Morrison's store in West Kirby, Wirral, had refused to sell two bottles of wine to a 72-year-old man because he refused to confirm that he was over 18. Morrison's refused to admit that a mistake had been made, explaining through a spokesman that to limit any element of doubt staff at the West Kirby store are required to ask anyone buying alcohol to confirm that they are over 18. Next, in September 2009 the Morrison's in Nottingley, West Yorkshire, was caught in a police sting and the company was fined for selling alcohol to a 15-year-old girl. Two weeks later, The Guardian published an article on Jackie Slater a woman in her fifties who had been refused a sale of a bottle of wine while shopping with her seventeen-year-old daughter. Again Morrison stood by the store's action, explaining through a spokesman that stores are unable to sell an alcoholic product to a customer they believe could be buying for a minor or for someone who is unable to prove their age. The checkout assistant involved in the incident told The Guardian that she would have been allowed to buy the wine had she been shopping with younger children. This prompted Leeds Northwest MP Greg Mulholland to comment that Morrison's should be ashamed of themselves, and that, 
whoever thinks this policy will do anything to stop antisocial drinking by kids is in cloud cuckoo land. Advertising In December 2012 a television advertising campaign which showed a child giving a dog pieces of Christmas pudding was criticized by the British Veterinary Association and the Kennel Club. Christmas pudding contains ingredients which can be harmful to dogs which led to concern that the behavior in the clip could be copied with detrimental consequences for animals. A spokesman for Morrison stated that they had sought veterinary advice before filming and a vet was present during the shoot. Advice given was that there would be minimal, if any, risk to a dog of serious toxic reaction should this small amount, in relation to its body weight, of Christmas cake or pudding be consumed on a one off basis. A Euro help for heroes. In May 2013, a Morrison's worker at the store in Victory Retail Park, Portsmouth was suspended for wearing a Help for Heroes wristband and a Remembrance poppy. The member of staff faced disciplinary action over breaching the company's uniform policy. Morrison's later reinstated the worker and updated its policy. Angel of the North, in May 2014, Morrison's projected an image of a baguette onto the Angel of the North. The sculpture's designer, Anthony Gormley, said, I'd rather the Angel is not used for such purposes. Morrison's later apologized. Slavery in Thailand, in 2014, The Guardian reported that Morrison's is a client of Chair and Pokhan Foods. During six months, The Guardian traced down the whole chain from slave ships in Asian waters to leading producers and retailers. In popular culture, in Charlie Higson's post-apocalyptic young adult horror novel The Enemy, a group of children finds refuge in Morrison's supermarket in London, after a worldwide sickness has infected adults turning them into something akin to zombies. They later join forces with a rival group of children who had found refuge in Waitrose. See also List of supermarket chains in the United Kingdom, main stop References External links, official site